Hello and welcome to the 18th episode of the Nomura playthrough of Berry Creek Kingdom. And today we are focusing on uh, moving our, well, now cut down trees into here. And this will be our grow area. Zero nomads have arrived. That was kind of expected. Uh, we haven't ex really made our kingdom worth much more. I haven't really worked on the uh, great hall there or anything, so that was kind of expected. Although I, I would love to get some more. Also, it is summer time again, which is nice. We have a massive supply of wheat. That's wow. <laughs> Do we have nutrient monsters actually? Oh, that could explain why we don't have any food being made. So. Let's throw one of the fabricators in the Nutrient Manzer and uh, one of the builders also back to the Nutrient Manzer job so someone sh should actually make some alcohol and uh, food again. So no, no wonder uh, wheat and fruit were getting stockpiled and also why food didn't go up. But th this, sh this should give me uh, ample supply to survive whatever comes my way. As long as it, it's not armed <laughs> with weapons, but um, the winter time should be now quite easily doable. I hope. So I'm I'm gonna abandon work on this for a second. It's fully mined out now, so that's good. And uh, I'll be focusing on uh, completing this grove area next. Actually, the miner dude could do something. Um. Or the landscaper. I think I named him Rayman during the last episode. Or was it the episode before that? So, anyways, whoever you are, you're gonna go on a massive tree cutting bender. Just smash. Smash the nature. Get the trees out of our loon. So we don't need to worry about a lack of wood for a long period of time Let's get those as well if I want to line this with trees it doesn't I mean not trees but the uh, statues there cannot be any trees in the way so that should be enough for a moment for him to do something while I focus on other st stuff get some uh, trees growing everywhere not tree trees growing but get some logs I don't know what I'm talking about anymore game is getting to me. Let's see. What's here? Silica, silica, silica tin. Ooh. More copper and uh, stuff. Let's get the, some more of those sweet, sweet tiles made. Ceramic tiles. Let's make 11, it seems. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 11. I don't know how much tiles we have at the moment. That looks about 10 or so, maybe a couple more, so that's getting a, a decent amount of uh, ceramic tiles. We'll, we'll definitely do something interesting with those. So when are you going to replace this floor with the dirt? And I'll just focus on the roads so we could get the trees growing in there. It seems it's a uh, harvesting time now and uh, later they will be planting those trees and other crap in here it's gonna take a long time to actually grow them which is kinda annoying, I need to also cut down those come on please, plant those so I gonna get this tree made uh, or the grow made in here as well for the Birch crows. We also need to work on some trade goods. Last time when we bought these two emus, not emus, alpacas, we actually have a wool now, uh, we had to pretty much sell everything that was not nailed on the floor, which meant uh, pretty much spending everything we had to make them or get them so actually having some proper trade goods would be 
probably a really good idea, I would say. And we should probably make a um, statuette out of the stone, like uh, use basalt granite or something that we have ample supplies everywhere, and make uh, some statuettes to be sold to the merchants. They are not that expensive. One of like one statue it can be like five to eight or so, depending on the quality, even maybe less. So buying like two alpacas for a thousand gnome bucks is still quite expensive and it's gonna be need uh, mean we are gonna need like what's it, 200 statuettes so it's quite a lot of work 50 times crafting statuettes for two alpacas <laughs> but thank god we already have breeding bear pair and more of each animal so we don't really have to worry about buying any of those really expensive animals anymore. We can just keep breeding these. And we'll, we'll have to design, re redesign this uh, pasture area in this spot here. And uh, I'm, I'm really planning to extend this this way. And uh, I'll actually build some kind of uh, barn buildings for the well, not a barn, but anyways, some kind of housing for the cow, uh, alp uh, yaks, emus, and uh, alpacas in here. So each of them have a, at least some rain coverage if they need to go under there. And I'll also fence the areas so they're gonna just stay in their own pastures. Kind of like this, but better made. And um, I'm gonna make it. Uh, not be next to the wall there. I'm gonna leave a couple spaces and I'm gonna fence the area somewhere like this side, I think. That means we have to re relocate all of our production and our cotton farms somewhere else. And I don't know that where that's going to be. I think my farms are actually pretty well located in here. So if the ranch area with pastures for the animals is on this side, maybe the farming is actually on this side. Stockpiles need to be moved out of here into the great fortress in here. I may actually create a secondary exit into the fortress. So we'll keep this going from this side and another one from this side. It doesn't mean if, I mean, matter if you have two entrances because this is the only entrance, anyways, into the main gate, gated area or walled area. And uh, this would just uh, give us uh, another quick access into the fortress here. So it's actually not a bad idea. Hmm, actually it's actually a pretty good idea. So that that would mean uh, that uh, the housing and uh, all the crafting areas could be on this side of the mountain going up up to the up, all the way here and we'll have some kind of tower on the top or something and uh, we'll still have to make the tower on here as well and uh, this archer tower there and uh, basically splitting this area so that the crafting and the everything else living quarters are on this side and this will be would be for the army and military stuff which means they can easily get into the defensive positions here and just run out down here as well uh, as needed or actually the barracks, that, that's the barracks area, so this will be the entrance into here. I will be building a wall, going all the way around this. This will be the entrance here. And uh, you're gonna have to go through this, close to the barracks area where the military is sleeping and living. And into the farm yard, pasture area there. And then actually to get to the main bulk of the fortress kind of have to go through everything where most of the high value targets like my metal smithing and everything will be in here so it's going to be army guys first the farm workers the peasants you go through them next and uh, then you have to go through my skilled workers and all the way into the heart of the fortress to fight the king <laughs> There's gonna be a gnome king. 
even if such thing doesn't exist in the game, there has to be a gnome king. Still working on the bridge. I may have a... <laughs> gonna be too crazy with these. And, well, I think uh, all of my construction might be a bit too much. Well, I, I like it, so it's all good. I should have also installed uh, torches on like side of these. So like um, outside facing torches as well. And not just uh, these inside facing torches. Also, still need to install these outside here. And we need to also extend the road, like build a proper road, maybe go in, in there, so it kind of shows that we have a proper road exiting the kingdom. Maybe even create a crossroad here, one goes this way and one goes this way, out of there. I don't think... Uh, well, there is no such thing as a road, it's just a floor you make. Like in Dwarf Fortress, you can actually make the proper roads, and if you connect a road to the side of the map, an old way, into your fortress and have a accessible road, or accessible terrain for the caravan wagons, they will actually use the road in entrance and uh, just come in where you have the road, which is a really, really nice thing. Also, you could, of course, block all the other exits and only have one entrance into the kingdom, which is an extremely easy way to defend your whole fortress if there's only one way inside the whole map and you can trap and guard that single exit to the map. It also makes uh, hunting super efficient <laughs> because you know where the animals are gon gonna be they're gonna be in that one spot. And uh, very likely in inside your cage traps. I think my kiln worker is actually slacking since he's uh, just prospecting through all the garbage. Let's get rid of those trees. I need to also replace those uh, clay floors with some dirt. And uh, we can keep the clay to make some clay tiles. There are some interesting sounds outside. Let's just uh, get rid of all the clay here. And also, let's uh, cover the water there. A little bit of dirt. I should look at the right level and not build some floating dirt piles again like we made a mistake with this one. A yak was born. Ooh. Time to slaughter something I guess. Yak pasture. No, it's a female. Emus. There is one male. And same to alpacas. You only need one male for an infinite amount of uh, females. Of course, uh, it means if the one male dies for some reason, you are out of luck. Aha, we can do the crow now. There we go. This was a uh, birch, if I recall correctly. Oops. Sometimes uh, when you click on the 
crow, it Im instantly clicks out of the menu there. It's kind of strange. There we go. So that should be the crow area fully constructed now. And they can just freely cut down everything in this this area and this area and bit of the trees on this edge here. Otherwise we'll keep growing everything there. I think my farmers might be <laughs> not quick enough to work all the fields and all the stuff to actually plant those trees. They should be doing that as soon as possible. How's the tree cutting going? He's clear cut maybe half of the mountain already. <laughs> Such a busy guy. There's a bit of copper in the hills there. Hmm. Let's just uh, keep doing what we are doing. Torch installed, still not done with those and some in there as well. They did uh, replace some of the dirt here. More silica and slivers. I should uh, stockpile the slivers near here. He's making the tiles now. Good. Someone else is making the tiles actually. Who are you? The fabricator. Okay, that's, that's good. And hello, autosave. Are we actually on the faster speed or on the middle speed? We are on the faster speed. I kind of wish there was even faster sometimes. That's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, the grass doesn't seem to be spreading. It need, needs to be bigger grass area for it to actually grow. I don't know. I cannot probably fix that easily. Other one than just building a massive grass edge from there that just slowly spreads everywhere, but that's like a lot of work. Hmm. Let's do a quick test. Let's see if it spreads from there. If that's enough grass. Or is the fence going to prevent it from growing as well? Because I, I would love, love to keep my row of uh, trees here. But if I cannot get the grass to grow in there, I don't know, like this dirt here. And uh, I may actually instead just uh, put down some marble. <laughs> on, on the ground there. And it, it, it looks like it's not going to spread. If anyone ha has any idea how exactly the spreading works, please let me know. And we'll try to figure out if we can do the stuff. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm not gonna fence these edges yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait till the bridge is totally done. Because uh, it, it is a massive drain on my resources and everything. Also, I'm using apple wood, which uh, doesn't really help since uh, we don't really have any apple wood yet. Well, we do have now, since we cut down this. I think we were out of apple wood previously, so we can actually finish the bridge. And uh, instead of using apple wood on down here, I may actually use uh, oak or birch instead, because uh, we have ample supplies of that compared to the apple wood, uh, wood and orange wood. Uh, the reason why we have 
not that much orange wood is because I actually sold um, a ton of that. I think we are soon probably starting to attract demands at this rate. Let me actually take a look at my soldier guys. How well are you equipped? I'm uh, not equipped. I, I know how badly equipped you are, but how, how is your skills? That's a lot of axe skill. Lots of shield skill. Dodge. That looks like a nice guy. How about this uh, Wasper who actually has the copper gear? Almost 60. He is he's really nice guy. Armor skills are bad because we don't have armor. <laughs> Shame. I need to find a good source of uh, metal. Another Jack was born. Which means we should go mining down into the ground. Maybe at least a level or two. And try to locate some uh, copper. Or Coparantine would be pre perfect for the bronze making, so we could get some bronze armor made. But uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. I would be really thrilled if it did actually happen, but I'm not really expecting something like that to happen. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm going to already queue this up because uh, I'm impatient. I wonder if I should uh, do the corners first, because they may get stuck again. Unable to place the corner tile. If that happens, I think I'll just uh, dismantle some stuff. Oh, hello. That sounds like a goblin. Summer goblin raid coming on my way. I hope the corners work properly on this, otherwise I may have to redesign part of this. Let's put one in there as well, why not? So there we go. And there is only two guys on duty. Uh, that remain reminds me, we should get an alarm bell. Also, did we make those helmets? Yes, we did. Let's see. In combat. Oh, they're, they're fighting. There. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so let's get a new squad of random peoples. Formation, basic formation. Can you decide uh, what gear you do you, you use? Also, why is that still there? Ah. No idea. Let's see if they are actually gonna go pick up the helmets. They are. <laughs> Perfect. It's gonna be... Skeletor. Fortress. Let's get the new squad. Um, I need to actually change the names. So let's get... These other guys in there as well. We need to equip them with basic weaponry as well. So pretty much everyone is now in a, in a squad. So we'll get the skull helmets for everyone. It's the new fashion in the fortress. Wear your goblin skull proud. So let's see when when the goblins actually actually arrive. I wonder if it's going to be a bigger goblin squad this time or. Are they gonna fight a monitor lizard or something? A bear in the woods and <laughs> just kill themselves in there? Or are we gonna see actually some gnome on goblin action this time? I 
Uh, I may have, have to improve these entrances into the tunnels as well. They, they look kind of just going into there. And uh, I would like to have a edge, like a basalt edge in there as well. You know, to all of these. Although it's kind of like camouflaged into the hill now. Let's actually take a look uh, from this side. How does it look? Um, this is the one I want to look. It actually looks pretty cool. So, you don't really see other than the bridge and the road coming from this way. And then you s from this side you can see the edge of this. So if you so turn it one more time. So it, let's say the road comes from here or here and you come into the fortress there. You're gonna first see the tower in the air. If it's when well, imagine a tower there for the archers. You're gonna see this small tower there, plus this tower that's gonna be on top of this with the light on top of that. And then you get closer, you see this road, actually the road coming from here and here, go into the scorch, and you see this bridge over there with some crossbow dwarfs, maybe muskets later on, just standing there, raining hell on enemies. And you move in, and you get to fight these these guys. Also while you, <coughs> if you are not a hostile, you walk in here and you're gonna see from this edge of the hill here, you're gonna see, see some balconies and uh, living quarters and stuff like that coming from the mountain side and eventually there will be some kind of thing on top of this as well. So it's gonna be uh, nice when we are actually at that point. If we are at that point. Uh, this could always go down south really quickly if something bad happens. <laughs> Everyone is wearing the skull helmet now. Just skull skulls everywhere. That's cool. At least we we have some hit gear now for everyone. It looks pretty silly. We should uh, also actually make some more leather armor because uh, all of that is actually done. Uh, and uh, I think these are done as well. Yep. Let's queue up some um, leather. It needs four panels. Each panel needs one hide. So 24, 27 means we can do six. We should actually... Yeah, let's do six uh, leather cuirasses. Also, let's make some more swords. Oops. We have five armed guys plus five, uh, sorry, ten unarmed guys. So let's make ten swords. At least we have a, a some kind of rudimentary weapon for everyone, and we can just gang on goblins. All the, all the uh, chairs are done. Just need the tables now. How is the wood cutting going? Oh, <laughs> it is going. There, there is not too many trees left. <laughs> bit of the fence is done. It seems we have uh, so much pine that they can actually do some stuff already there. I should maybe made the hole in there and keep put the prospector inside in this own hole. I think the prospector should be moved eventually. Closer to the metal working and kiln. At least it, it will be easy to move all of this once we uh, have proper quarters for them. Also we need to install that light at the end of, end of here. Perfect. Just a 
perfect spacing between those. I think that actually may be a bit wider than necessary. Um, but the episode is actually at the end again, so this has been dug out. We'll be digging another tunnel through there and creating a staircase up. Kind of similar to this one. And we'll be moving the pastures in here eventually. The grove is being built and uh, the fence is being made around it. This fence is done and uh, this fence is getting done as well. This is getting uh, done. Soon we'll have that. The tower will be erected there. A tunnel into the military quarters up here and uh, ammo storage for the crossbow guys in both sides. And we'll build some more housing on this side. It will be actually probably at the edge of here. So we'll have balconies showing from here. And uh, things are going well in the Berry Creek Kingdom. So I'll see you guys next time in the next episode number 19. And uh, we'll figure out some other cool stuff to build. So thanks, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.